in little individual units, like, you know, straggler, two or three people. Whenever we're together in a group, and that's a testament to the benefits of unity, whenever we're together as a group, we can be a culture as a group. We can do what we want with the appearance that it's almost legal. Like, we're behaving like it's legal. We're here in large enough numbers that we can demonstrate that we're entitled to be here as a culture. We are a culture. After all, we have our own music, our own words, our own poetry, our own websites, our own magazines, our own media, our own places to meet. Cannabis culture is a very authentic and real culture. And it's the last of the great cultures in this country that has not gotten the recognition, the legal acknowledgement we're entitled to and we deserve. You know, in 1949, they finally gave Chinese people the right to vote. You know, 80 years after other Canadians received the right to vote, the Chinese finally got the right to vote. Native Canadians were finally allowed to vote in 1960. Women were finally allowed to vote in 1920. Many, many different Canadians have had to struggle to get their acknowledgement for their full legal rights. And I just want to remind everyone here, those we're celebrating in this very open way, in this really fun way, Let's not forget that when we're alone, we're very vulnerable to police spying on us, invading our homes, arresting us on the street, seizing our marijuana, arresting our dealers, right? Taking away our children. My kids are all in their 20s and 30s. I worry about them getting criminal records, and they worry about me getting one, too. By the way, as you might know, the United States government is seeking to extradite me. They're calling me the number one drug trafficking kingpin in all of Canada. I know, on one hand, I'm flattered. You know, they say I'm responsible for 1.1 million pounds of marijuana. That's a, that's a lot of pot. Like, if, 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 That would be like you know, that thing that the little Jawas recording. in Star Wars. You know, that big, oh, huge that's tank that. that was 100 feet high? That's, what that's the a RAC lot of weed. 1.1 million pounds of marijuana. Sorry. Actually, <laughs> that's kilo. <laughs> told you it's but it's, it's, it. it's $3 million <laughs> worth of weed. They say I'm responsible for So as you can tell, they're very serious about getting me. So I hope you'll look at our website, noextradition.net. And go to our website, cannabisculture.com. And read our magazine, Cannabis Look at all our thousands of videos at pot.tv. Those are all things that I'm involved with. Then you can learn more about my situation, which will be very dire. I'll have an expedition hearing in November. And if I lose that hearing, it'll only be a matter of time before I sent to the United States where they will be Small for but technology. Dozens and dozens and dozens of years in jail. They're calling me the largest marijuana. Take it, that blows up quite Canada. fine, doesn't it? So that can't be good yeah, insofar yeah. as sentencing would go. I... I uh, Okay, where's the tribal? I'm shaking too much. Are we not the greatest culture on this earth today? Can you say you'd really rather be with anybody other than a bunch of potheads? I can't think of anybody else I would rather be with than a bunch of potheads. You know what, though? Let's all remind, I want to remind everybody that potheads made this world a great place to be. Without potheads, there would be no Stephen Jobs and, and Microsoft. There would be no, sorry, Stephen Jobs and Apple. There would be no Bill Gates and Microsoft. There would be no more much music. There wouldn't be any CNN. Ted Turner smokes a big chonger every day. There would be no black music and jazz. There would be no reggae music. There would be no Led Zeppelin, no Beatles, no Rolling Stones, no every major group you ever loved. There would be no Willie Nelson, no Toby Keith. So many artists, so many musicians, so many directors, so many filmmakers, so many writers, so many cutting edge computer software writers, so many video game producers are potheads. The vast majority of everything we enjoy in our media today is made by a pothead. And we should demand that people acknowledge this. Without potheads, this would be a very sterile, boring world. Of people who tend to get elected for the Conservative Party. Would you want your whole country like that? Of course not. You want it to be filled with diversity and choice and weirdness and characters and people who are emphasizing the individuality of themselves and the unity in our culture where we welcome. I bet as those joints go around, nobody was denied a chance to puff on a joint because of their race or their gender, or their religion, or their ethnicity, or anything about them. The reason we are hunted down like animals is because we represent the unifying forces of multiracialism, love, unity. We don't have enemies within the cannabis culture. We like everybody if they like weed.
is a very threatening dog to the people around the world. They use divided methodologies. They want to separate us as individuals. Like it's always a division between landlords and tenants, blacks and white, men and women. People who smoke pot are beyond all that. We don't see things in that kind of paradigm. We see things as basically it's pot people and the other people. But even then we forgive the other people. We don't want to punish them. They want to punish us. And so we have to constantly remind them what is it about us you hate that you want to put in jail, that you want to destroy, that you want to malign, that you want to make difficult to. Keep asking them. We have a federal election coming up. Ask them if they support the extradition of Mark Emery. When you get a chance, ask uh, what is it, Denise Lavoy? Ask her if she supports the extradition of Mark Emery. Ask all the candidates in the next federal election if they support the extradition of Mark Emery. And then ask them why they support prohibition. And keep pursuing that. And thanks for giving me this microphone. Let's smoke some more weed. Thank you very much.